What's poppin' everyone? Welcome back to my kingdom. My name is Tinta King and I'm coming at you today with another YouTube video. Today, we're gonna be reacting to Brandy's new album titled B7. I, in my 25 years, I have never listened to a complete Brandy album, all right? I didn't get into listening to albums like that from beginning to end until like maybe 2013. I'm evolved now. I'm a different person. I'm a different music lover. You know, I listen to music and I listen to projects from beginning to end to get the whole gist of the album, you know? I want to get in my feelings. I want to feel everything. So this is my first project where I will be able to listen to Brandy and I'll be able to say, hey, I listen to this album from the beginning to end, you know? I will eventually go back and listen to other albums, but you know how I do. This just came out. I'm going to support the most recent project. So let's dive into Brandy's B7. Before we get into that, this is your first time seeing my face. If you don't know who I am, my name is Tinta King. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Thank you for coming to my kingdom. Press like, press subscribe, and be notified so you can see my face again. We do reactions like this all the time on this channel. We do from Brandy to Drake to Lizzo, Halsey, anybody that you can think of, we will do or will be doing on this channel. So go ahead and subscribe so you can be notified whenever I'm doing a new video. Without further ado, Let's get into B7. The first song on this album is titled Saving All My Love. Let's get into it. I got an attitude problem. Long time, I was broken hearted. Mm, you a liar. Oh, I hate a person. The door walking hide their hands. I'm talking, goddamn. Hey. Kid Come on. All right, that was the first song on this album titled Saving All My Love. Beautiful way to open up this album, all right? You already know, if you subscribe to this channel, if you've seen me on this channel before, you know that the first song is very strong. The first song is very powerful, all right? The first song, like, when I click on my, my Apple Music, I just go to play, all right? I want to just hit the play button and they go from one, two, three, all the way down to the last song already. And I don't like to skip songs. I don't want to have to skip a song when I listen to an album, you know? Especially not the first song. In the middle or something like that, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But at that, that first song, it's supposed to bring me in. And I like this. I like this first song. Saving All My Love. Absolutely. Get into it. Get into it. Long time I was broken hearted. Heartache and guarded. I period. Me. That's me. With this song, Brandy's just saying, yes, I'm solid as a rock. Yes, I'm, I'm a great person. I'm a great lover. But I'm not saving all my love, okay? I'm not saving all my love for this one person. <sighs> Brandy said what she said, all right? All right, the second song on this album is titled Unconditional Oceans. Let's get into it. Oh. Alrighty, that was the second song on his album titled Unconditional Oceans. She's talking about being in an unconditional, you know, relationship and this person is keeping her afloat and this person is, you know, showing her unconditional love. She's saying she wanna to go to this place. She don't she she wants to be stuck in this place, you know, this just this happiness and she doesn't want to be found. She doesn't want anyone to bother her or disturb her. It's unconditional love. Somebody loving her like that. Everyone strives to have that, to have some type of unconditional love, whether it's been in a relationship or with family or friends or something like that, just to know that that person's always there or somebody will always be there for you and have your back like that, that's dope. Wouldn't that be my favorite at the moment? I love the words, I love the lyricism, love it, but it wouldn't necessarily be my favorite at the moment, just saying, but do still respect this song, still care about this song. Let's keep listening. The third song on this album is titled Rather Be. Let's get into it.
Alrighty, that was the third song on this album titled Rather Be. This might be my favorite at the moment. Rather Be. I'd rather be kissing you. I'd rather just be chilling, hanging out, you know, and especially my love to you. I don't need your extras and all that stuff. Just give you to me. That's all I want is just for you to give you to me. I love this song. This, this would be my favorite. She's like, I just call me a little more. Your voice makes it better for me. Like, I'd be wanting to hear you and just, you know, you do it for me. Like, yo. She's like, just be here for me. You know, you're my best friend. I care about you. This is my my favorite song. This would be my number one at the moment. Rather be dope. The lyricism, the meaning behind this song and this track is dope. When we are together, it feels like forever. Ain't nobody like you. Yo, this is it. This is the song. This is my favorite at the moment. I love it. Rather be, rather be is popping, okay? Alrighty, the fourth song on this album is titled All My Life, Part One. Let's get into it. the fourth song on this album titled All My Life Part 1. It was just really an interlude, just a little... It's not really much to describe. Let's get into the fifth song. The fifth song on this album is titled Lucid Dreams. Let's get into it. To realize my real life already lived to deal with your broken soul. Yo. Alrighty, that was the fifth song on his album titled Lucy Dreams. Focus were together on this. Harmonies were great on this song. She opens up the song saying, One more strikeout and I'm gone. Like, I'm out. You losing me. I'm about to hit the door. I'm almost out the door. You're going to lose me. And then she said, I had to figure it out before I lose and lose me to you. Like, I'm losing myself, you know, trying to deal with your ass. Nah, I know. We're not doing that. Lucy Dreams, the message and everything like that. So this is going to be a song that's going to be towards the end of the uh, top of the list. It was pretty, you know, short within itself. But overall, love this track. The sixth song on this album is titled Borderline. Let's get to listening. Don't ever hurt me, I'll change on you, yo. Mmm, it's why I cry. I need to heal. That's me. Mm. In the end, I'll be the only one that's torn apart. I'm gonna be the only one that's fucked up about it. Oh, shit. Don't ever hurt me, cause I'll go crazy on you, all right? <laughs> Alrighty, that was the sixth song on this album titled Borderline. I really love this track, okay? Borderline has to be in my top, okay? Borderline's definitely in my top. I love this song. I'm on the borderline. Don't wanna be schizo this time, all right? Get into that. I'm so dangerous, baby. I need you to see, believe what you see, feel what I feel. And my feelings don't die. It's why I cry. I need to heal. Just let it go, Brandy. Move on. Just move on from this person. It seems like this person is borderline crazy. It seems like you need to get out of this, you know? Doesn't seem like you trust this person. Doesn't seem like you're capable of trusting them with your heart and really allowing y'all to develop into something real. Cause there's no you and I, maybe in another lifetime, caught me at the wrong time. In the end, I'm the only one. Yo, that's what I mean. Let his ass go. Brandy, you need to be sure. You need to know when someone feels something about you. You don't need to be schizo. You don't need to do none of that stuff. It's all about letting somebody show you that they want to reach you. Let them show you that you are the one, all right? You don't have to go through all that borderline shit to be somebody. Being real, all right? <laughs> Let's keep listening, guys. The seventh song on this album is titled No Tomorrow. Let's get into it.
Hey, tell me why you still love me. Hey. When you stare at me, I feel so beautiful. Hey. 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 Yo, this is my shit right here, y'all. Hey. Alrighty, that was the seventh song on this album titled No Tomorrow, my favorite song. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Besides the one other song that I've heard before that I listened to this album, Love Again, this is my number one song. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna speak into it. If there's another song that comes on after this, then you know what? I'll change it. But at this moment, No Tomorrow is popping, okay? No Tomorrow is that big. Just saying. She is clearly into this person. I'm gonna blow your phone up. I'm gonna talk to you. Like, there's no tomorrow. Like, we're gonna have a good time, get it, get into each other. When you stay me, I feel beautiful. Like, I'm gonna blow your phone up just in case there's no tomorrow. Just so I could be like, hey, I got my last, I got my last words to you. You know, I'll, 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 I'll feel, I'll feel complete if I can just get my last words to you. If I can't see tomorrow, you know, yo, this is a dope song. This is about just being. Knowing some, knowing you got somebody, and not want to let that person go. Like, no tomorrow, five stars. Okay, we're gonna get to the eighth song on this album's titled "Say Something." Let's see what's up. Hey. Mm. Hey, I'm on the fence on how you react. Oh, oh do. Figured I'd leave and you write about that. You take back promises, where do they go? Acting up, but no one's there for the show. Hurt you, my bad, but how long can you go? All right. You taking back promises and shit like that? You making promises and you can't own them to me? You wanna... It's not my song. It's a brand new song. <laughs> yeah, let's keep listening. Alrighty, that was the eighth song on this album titled to Say Something. This is another one that's gonna be my top. Back to back, we had two back to back No Tomorrow and Say Something that really, you know, stood out to me. Say Something, popping, okay? I'm on the fence because of how you react. Been on the fence and I ain't looking back. You question my shit, never picked up your slap. You did some things, but I'm over all that. Mmm. Brandy. Let's sit down and just talk. Let's chat it up real fast, all right? The vocal arrangements, the message behind this song, Say Something is a song that I, it's, it's one of my favorites. The track, okay? The ninth song is titled All My Life Part Two. I'm sure this is gonna be a little short interlude. I'm not sure. Let's dive in though. All right, that was the ninth song on this album titled All My Life Part 2. Another just interlude, no lyrics or anything like that. <laughs> Let's keep listening, guys. The tenth song on this album is titled I Am More. Let's dive into it. Oh, coming strong. Hold up. This motherfucker guitar in the background is doing something for me. I can't be the other, I won't be the other woman, okay? Let them know, Brandy, I won't be. No mistress, no side piece. I need more than that. I'm more than just those basic, simple things. I need to be the main person, the only person, all right? Brandy? Period. That was a 10 song on his album titled I Am More. Another one that said my top. Like, I'm more than a side piece. I am not a, a, a side order, okay? I'm the whole meal, I'm the whole plate. I'm I'm the breakfast, the lunch, and the dinner. I'm the salad, the appetizers, the salad, the, the entree, and dessert. Get into it, I'm all of that, do you understand? I'm with Brandy, like, I'm, I'm more than that. Don't try to treat me like some bum, I'm not that. You are going to give me the title. You're going to give me that, 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 
Number one spot, no one spot. I, I'm not no two, I'm not no three, I'm not no weekend vibes. Get into that, all right? I am more is definitely gonna be at the top. The lyricism, the the message behind it, I am more is definitely gonna be at the top of my list. I am more is popping, all right? Brand, that's right. Let these let these women know that they can be more than that. You're more than that. You are more than that. Not even that you can be, you are. It's just about if you're gonna allow yourself to treat yourself better, all right? Are you gonna treat yourself better? Are you gonna allow yourself to just be this this person who doesn't deserve their own person? All right? You deserve your own person. Not getting sloppy seconds from somebody else. You are more. <laughs> Come on, Brandy. Eleven song on this album is titled High Heels with Cy Ray. Let's get into it. Come on, production. Come on, production. Come on, sorry. Alrighty, that was the 11th song on this album titled High Heels with Cy Ray. This song was sick. Cy Ray, I, I didn't know who this was. I've never heard of this person before, but feature, the dark, dope feature. The first feature on this album, all right? Even though it's their song together, but she's the first person that was brought onto a song on this album. And this is the 11th song in. So, yeah, this is dope. Honestly, for me, it was the beat. It was, you know, the production and the way that the song was going that drew me into the song. I was really into it. And then when Cybrae came with the rapping and everything, I was sold. I was hurt. I can honestly say, I don't know what this song is about, y'all. I was just into it, you know? I was into the beat. I was into the melody. And I didn't really get away from the beat until Cybrae came and I was just following the flow of the rap. I right? hate just being honest. <laughs> I feel like this track was dope and I'm definitely gonna be listening to it again. Yeah. The 12th song on this album is titled Baby Mama featuring Chance the Rapper. I have not listened to it before. You know how I do it, I like to listen to it with you. So let's get into one of the singles off this album, Baby Mama. I'm feeling baby mama. You only hit me when you need something. Come on, Chan. Hey. Alright, that was the 12th song on this album titled Baby Mama featuring Chance the Rapper. I had not heard this song before and like I said, it was the people who were saying that they wasn't feeling Baby Mama and Baby Mama wasn't needed, blah, 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 but I'm feeling Baby Mama. No, like, it's not like, it's not the best song on the album, but it's not trash like people would have described it to be. Like, the the beat is sickening. The production is off the, the wall, alright? Chance the Rapper killed his damn verse and the gist of the song is baby mama who don't got a baby mama at this day age i don't but you know what i'm saying like baby mama is dope baby mama this message is dope the production was dope chance the rapper's rap was, was popping she's talking about not being dependent on you she's talking about being her own person being independent not needing the person yo mothers this should be your theme song this is the song Jake, this baby mama is popping to me i don't care what nobody say i like baby mama we're gonna go to the 13th song on this album titled All My Life, part three. I didn't know it was three parts to it, y'all. So hopefully we get some lyrical content in this one. Let's dive in. That was the 13th song on this album titled All My Life, part three. Another instrumental. It was only like about 30 seconds, just like the two previous. Um, Let's keep listening, guys. 
We're gonna go to the 14th song on this album titled Love Again. I heard this song before. This has to be, this was my favorite before I even heard anything off this album. I listened to Daniel Caesar, so of course I know this song already. You know how I do, I like to listen to it with you. This song is dedicated to Pumpkin. So without further ado, let's get into Love Again with Daniel Caesar and Brandy. I promise we will find love again. That was the 14th song on his album titled Love Again with Daniel Caesar and Brandy. This is especially going to the top of this list. I like this song. I love this song since I've heard it. You know, it was on Daniel Caesar's project, latest project. This song is very emotional. It's talking about, you know, loving again, opening yourself up and being able to love and finding love again and just the experience, the the experience of it all, it's, this song is beautifully put together, in my personal opinion. I love this song. I love Daniel Caesar's opening of it. I love their back and forth. The harmonizations, vocally, this song is perfect. We're going to go to the 15th and the last song on this album titled Bye Bipolar. Let's see what's up. That was the 15th and last song on this album titled Bye Bye Polar. And I thought this was a dope track. I think this was perfect for finishing off this album. I don't really want no more disorder. Pretty Boy in Love got both shoulders colder. Cause you strung me like thread. I was damn near dead. And you fucked with my head like lead. Russian roulette. She goes on to leave this person and be able to say she don't want no more disorder she don't want no more bipolar she don't want no more of none of that shit she wants to be left alone she wants to be free she wants to be free from all the bullshit i get that being free and wanting to let someone go and not have to deal with any more drama i understand that the baggage of it all letting it go it got, what really got me is when she said that's why i lost your ring and you can keep your last name yo this track was dope perfect way to finish it Thank you for everyone who clicked on this video. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Press notifications so you can be notified when a real bitch posts new videos. I appreciate every last one of you. Please like and comment. Let me know down below what you would like me to react to next. Who's your new favorite artist? What's the new popular song that you've heard? Let me know. Let me know what you would like me to react to next. I'm always here. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. This is a list of my 1 through 15 of how I was feeling. The songs at the top were the most, the, the songs that I felt the most. And yeah, I hope no one's offended by this list. This is just my personal opinion about how I felt about this album. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I will see you guys in the next video.